I really do think that people need to do more homework before they just grab a box of ammunition in a little, I mean, 2.75 inch barrel. Do you think you're really gonna get list velocities out of that? Greetings, discreet defenders. Well, tonight I'm cleaning the LCP Max and with good reason. Some people were complaining last year about my 70 round torture test not being a real torture test. So this week I got out and shot 200 rounds of ammunition through the LCP Max all on camera. Gonna publish that on Thursday night. Actually, by the time you're seeing this, it was last week I did it, but gonna publish that this Thursday. And um, ran into some weird hiccups right away at first, but just keep watching. Don't lose heart if you're interested in the LCP Max. Uh, things straightened out before the end, but no spoilers. Um, okay, uh, plans for the immediate future. I am looking to do a little bit more 380 testing. I need to cook a gel block and uh, I got turkey season coming up, obviously. So that might interfere. I may actually even just take a, a week off. I may take you, uh, I may, may take the camera with me up to the cabin. I don't wanna, I don't wanna do a lot of shooting up there right now cause obviously I don't wanna scare the turkeys off. So I might just take the camera out and show you guys around the place just just a little bit a little bit more than than what I have there's there's not much to see up there it's just kind of flat country with a little bit of a little bit of cow pasture a little bit of woods a little bit of swamp I'd like to show it to y'all probably not terribly interesting compared with my ballistics testing that's that's obviously what my channel is about and it's it's about short barrels it's about concealable firearms and it's about pairing your ammunition with your gun and um, I really do think that people need to do more homework before they just grab a box of ammunition in a little, I mean, 2.75 inch barrel. Do you think you're really gonna get list velocities out of that? I think you're gonna get a, a, uh, a 90 grain hollow point going a thousand feet per second out of that? When they're, when they're testing them out of, I don't know what they're testing them out of, but the, the list velocities are often 150 feet per second higher for 380 particularly. I'm going to get done with a couple of more 38 special tests and maybe a couple of 40 caliber tests or I'll, maybe I'll just pit two different kinds of ammo against each other. I am definitely going to move on to some 9mm tests. You're going to see a lot more of the Taurus GX4 in, in the near future. So that'll be, uh, that'll be fun. What I'm, what I'm, really trying to do with the nine millimeter is find some light ammunition because with that high capacity or 11 round capacity magazine in that little tiny gun i really want uh i really want a light a light bullet a light for caliber bullet because you know if you put 147 grainers in there versus 115 grain you're looking at 32 extra grains times 11 you're up eh, the 350 almost seven eighths of an ounce uh added weight and a nine millimeter is already pushing the limits of a pocket gun um i i, I obviously prefer three o'clock carry i i'm a i'm a i'm a belt holster guy um don't don't like belts a lot so uh pocket carry is funner but anytime you get over about 14 to 16 ounces right in there it's really diff it's it's weird it, pocket carry just feels weird with a with a 20 ounce gun or a 24 ounce loaded um sidearm so i like to put those up on my hip i like to put them in kydex where they feel locked and snug and nice but yeah, I'm going to test some 115 grain ammunition through the Taurus GX4. Probably going to start out with a series of ballistic tests using a bunch of different 115 grain loads. Obviously, I got the silver tips I got to show you guys. I have some Underwoods on order. I have some uh, 115 grain uh, Corbon Plus B. It's about the most powerful 9mm ammunition that I've seen other than, I mean, some of their like Liberty Defense or whatever, Liberty Civil Defense as a like a 50 grain 
2,000 foot per second, nine millimeter round, frangible. Uh, sure, if you don't care about getting through to the central nervous system, uh, then shoot, sure, throw in some 50 grain Liberty civil defense frangible ammunition and, and really just hurt somebody. I mean, I got no problem with you hurting a burp, you know? <laughs> um, their lawyer might, you know, that you might wind up in a, a lawsuit situation. I don't know. I, I don't know what your local jurisdiction is like about that. The DAs in your part of the world. Heck, you know, there's lots of parts of even the United States where you're not even allowed to use a gun to, to, to save your life. You, you're, you're supposed to lay down and die if somebody wants to hurt you. And I feel bad for people who live in those states. You know, our, our Second Amendment is meant to apply to everyone in the country, not just to people in states that, that permit it. Um, you, you don't permit a right. You permit a privilege. And if you don't, if you don't believe that human beings have a right to defend themselves, I mean, that's about as fundamental a right as there is to stay alive when somebody, due to no fault of your own, somebody just picks you out as their intended target. You have a right to say, no, I, I decline. I, I decline to participate in whatever plans it is you have for me, stranger. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not down with that. I'm not, I'm not going with you. I, I'm not, um... I, I don't want to be your target tonight, and if you make me your target, I'm going to make you my target, and we're and and we're going to have a we're going to have an interesting two way conversation. This this thing you think is going to go all your way, uh, let me just tell you, it's not going to go your way. So that's what this channel is about. It's a it's about uh, discrete defense. It's about research. It's about testing. It's about finding out what works. It's about pairing your ammunition with your firearm. That's it. We will um, we'll move on to uh, some 115 grain 9 millimeter testing. Uh, uh, hopefully start with that uh, later in May or beginning of June. So those are the plans. Moving to Thursday nights. Look for videos um, pretty much exclusively on Thursday nights from now on. I've been kind of doubling up lately just because I know the algorithm is used to me publishing on Mondays, likes to see me publish on Mondays. But uh, those are those are the plans. This Thursday, look for the uh, look for the 200 round torture test of the little LCP Max. And that's going to be uh, that's that that turned out to be a lot more interesting than I wanted it to be, but it it wound up to be pretty fun at the end. So thanks, folks. Uh, this is Dave for DDR. Have a great week.